Okay. All right, everybody stretch because you're probably <laughs> going to laugh your balls off as soon as this headline shows up on the screen. Oh, all right, here we go. Attorney suspended over pooping in a Pringles can and leaving it in a park. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it happened in Ohio. (laughs) Ohio Supreme Court suspended an attorney for defecating in a Pringles can and dropping it in a parking lot of, and here's the kicker, a crime victim advocacy center. Oh, jeez. Here's what I think of your advocacy, you bitch. I guess this attorney's been listening to the pop show. Oh, my God. Tell you you shit in one Pringles can, and they never let you forget it. He never lets you get away. This guy's never going to forget it either. Uh, <laughs> criminal defense attorney Jack A. Blakesley. Uh, Con- yeah, interesting. Conduct called into question his fitness to practice law. More like shitness to practice law. Mm-hmm. His defense, he said he didn't target anyone, but had a habit of putting his feces in Pringles cans and what? randomly throwing them from his car. Oh. He claimed he pulled the Pringles prank at least 10 times that year. Well, good for him. <laughs> I've only done this once in my life. This guy's got a, he's got a fetish. Yep. Lee in the chat wins the night. Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, Boy. man. But Ooh. the court didn't buy it and said Blakesley purposely chose the haven of hope in Cambridge as his, in quotes, drop zone. <laughs> surveillance video captured the incident in november of 2021 blakesley had known the victim advocates at the center for years and was scheduled to see them in court 15 minutes after the pringles deposit oh my God. how long did they suspend him for <laughs> I know, it's, uh, uh one year it says with six months of that suspension stayed hmm. wow i mean <laughs> He's been an attorney since 76. Jesus. No prior disciplinary action. So what do you do for fun on the weekends? I, I shit in Pringles cans. And throw and I, I, the I, I, throw I, them. I throw them at victims. But let's be honest. All right, He left it in the parking lot. which is <laughs> He threw it out of his car. It's it, it, listen, it's it's harmless. It's much worse if like, you you know leave it in somebody's mailbox. Well, well, I, I literally true. threw it in the U.S. mail. <laughs> it made it to uh the duty station you know it was a navy i think it was in california somewhere uh As he was coming back from sea so he had like two weeks they left it in the mail room and that's when it started leaking out oh <laughs> man so Ooh. shit that, happens uh, that, that could have it been really bad for the popster <laughs> It was a duty station. A duty, <laughs> a duty station. A duty free. It was no longer a duty free station. It was a duty station. <laughs> you crossed the border with that Pringles can, sir. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Hey, Pop. You also did the uh, the dead fish in the car one too, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. That oh, happened. Yeah. I, oh, I just watched Grumpy times. Old Man again the other day. It was awesome. No, no. This was a uh, team leader of mine. He was uh, getting out of the army, and uh, they hit the fi- we had this horrible practical joke war going on for about a year. And uh, I went down to the fish market in Seattle, and I bought this huge something or other is that a euphemism for a brothel or no, you go- a okay i'm just making sure it was a fish. Yeah. i mean this is seattle we're talking about so you know he had an m what an mr5 mazda mr5 mr6 something like that and he's in the barracks you know saying his final goodbyes i literally go to the back of his car open the back put the fish in there <laughs> and then put a bunch of his clothes on top of it <laughs> he didn't discover that probably for at least three or four days. <laughs> oh, oh. So he was hundreds of, you know, on the other side of the country by the time he's like, Pah! oh, man, I bet that reeked like a some bitch. Yeah. Ooh, wee. Yeah. Oh, it had to happen, man. It, it had to happen. It had to happen. Yeah. Couldn't get around. Of all the things that had to happen, this one had to happen the most. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> What was it rock and roll? No, no, evil pop got in the seat. Like, oh, get, get okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to, let's get a fish. Shut up. That's why you We're never hang fish. That's why you yeah. never hang the key outside the cell. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. if it smells like fish. 
but yeah. just get an odor stick. It'll make that fish smell like roses. Yeah, get get rid stick. of that, that vaginal odor. is just going bye-bye. That's <laughs> all the pelicans that are following me. Uh, is that a real commercial, though? Or it is. Is, it was from it the, is it really? It's a real commercial. Oh, my God. From the 50s. <laughs> We should I mean, watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's just too damn funny. Good Lord. I bought the fresh stick, just as you told me. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. It's neat and quick, and it goes on dry. It did make me feel cool and sweet, just as you said. I did everything you said, but my boss still hasn't asked me to lunch. In matters of vaginal odor, an unpleasant aroma down there could cast a shadow on the grandest of romances. Shouldn't you prioritize those little steps to ensure pure, delicate allure? When you think of it, that's quite a lot. <laughs> that's got to be fake. No. It's got to be fake. It's an old one, man. It's an old one, man. It's oh, no, old. They wouldn't even talk about toilets and shit back in the 50s and 60s. I can't believe they'd have a... Uh, vaginal oh, odor. They, they used to have douche commercials in the eighties. Well, that's yeah. Well, yeah, you know, true, true. It's always women walking down the beach. Hey, mom, do you ever feel not so fresh? <laughs> yeah, honey, that's why I douche. Ask all the pelicans that are following us looking for a meal. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the what the, the, the shit douche commercials. Yeah, yeah. Summer's Eve herbal douche. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bag that hands from a shower. Yeah, I actually got yelled at for calling uh, my soldiers douches. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, so I I started referring to them as bags that hung in the shower. I was just saying, those old commercials would have done really well. You mix those into the Something to Tide You Over segment from Creep Show. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Nielsen torturing Ted Dance, and all of a sudden two chicks walk by. I, I, all right, get up. We're burying these two instead. <laughs> I don't I mean, need pelican shit all over my house. <laughs> I mean, I, I can certainly understand that, uh, you know, some people might have an odor problem. But, geez, how bad would it have to be where you're sitting uh, at work and you start dude, smelling dude, like a dude, carcass? I've known women. They walk in the room and it smells like oh, rancid meat no and, and pennies. It, it is nasty. Oh, I'm not sure where the myth came from that men are like the most messy, foul, like repugnant creatures when it comes to hygiene. Anybody mm. who thinks that has never been to a chick barracks, they've never been to a chick dorm. Hell, they haven't visited the average room of a teenage girl. Oh. I remember <laughs> my mom used to babysit for the same family for years. She was their nanny all summer. They were like a second family to me growing up. Well, when one, one of them, you know, became a teenager, the oldest one, she was a year younger than me, like 13, 14. She was getting ready to like back to school. Oh, cut time to clean my room from the summer. Okay. She opens the door. I can't see the carpet. Wow. Covered in, 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 in clothes, nasty shit. At one point, I, I'm cleaning shit out from under the bed and I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just grabbing and I pull out and I got balled up panties with dried period blood on. Oh. Man. There's a used razor under there. I'm like, this is the nastiest fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. How lazy are you? I, uh, oh, hang God, on. hang on. There, this I've served alongside females in the army. Oh, I know. And on a couple of occasions, I had to go to the female barracks and knock on the door. You got to announce yourself, right? It smells like, like cooter. Man, coming in. I walk in there, and it, it there's like this horrible after smell. And it literally, I immediately, I had a lump of vomit. I'm like, Joe Biden comes in after I'm you. Like, I can't, I can't fucking stay in here. It smells I, pretty good in here. I couldn't go in there. I I'm think like, my pet is still soldiers. I'm like, uh, well, I'm going to send someone else because I'm going to vomit if I have to go in there. It is nasty. Yeah. Like men, they, they all synchronize when they live together. Well, when men live together, the worst thing you're going to get is like maybe some farts and, and armpit sweat. Or, or your pizza boxes. But yeah, then, yeah, that's the thing course. that I saw in college all the time, pizza yeah. boxes. Yeah, yeah. I swear this dude's like, he retiled his dorm with pizza boxes. Nah. <laughs> he was a nasty son of a bitch. Mm. God. I used to have to clean toilets when I was in school, right? It was a uh, part-time oh. job. <laughs> and without question, female, female toilet was the worst. Yep. There was some nasty ass shit going on in there. It's like oh, <laughs> they'll overflow like the the, the hatch, oh. like a special little you know tote for their 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 feminine hygiene. Their, yeah, their hygiene they'll just be hanging out there. You know they'll they'll they'll, they'll bleed and drip on the sea. They'll just fucking leave it. I they don't care. Jesus. Yeah, uh, I worked at a place called Croissants Croissants, and there was like two different occasions. I thought a knife fight had taken place. In the <laughs> <woman's bed. laughs> 
I'm like, what the fuck is this? Blood in her. Like, God damn. I thought it was Slash, but nope, it was just Gash. <laughs> I, I remember I told the, the owner, I'm like, I think I think there was a knife fight in the bathroom. He's like, what? what? He goes in there, there's blood everywhere. He goes, it's not a knife fight. Uh, it's just but I'm glad, I'm glad I don't have to clean that up. Get on it. Good to know yeah, this isn't it. pregnant this month. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.